Do you like my balloon? Hey guys, it's Adele and today I want to talk about something that has revolutionized my life in so many ways. As many of you know, I have suffered with uh, severe depression for so much of my life and getting therapy, trying new things, learning about developmental psychology really helps me to have some empathy and compassion for myself. I used to feel so frustrated with myself for being depressed and I used to think, you know, oh gosh, like I'm so lazy, why can't I get out of bed? Like why can't I stop thinking this way? Why can't I just be happy? I'd be so annoyed and by and just hate myself. But when I learned all these things, I realized that being raised by parents who are also depressed or anxious, not getting enough interaction, connection, touch, attention, and stimulation as a child is a huge part of what affects someone's state of depression or anxiety later down the line. And I also realized that by getting angry and hating myself for being that way, I was also perpetuating the abusive way that I was treated as a child, which was, you know, if I was sad or depressed or angry, I got in trouble for that. And I was doing that to myself, like so many of us do. So I got some great insights from that aspect of therapy. And while that was really helpful, there were some negative things that came out of that. One of them was that I started to feel like all of my problems based on how I was raised were the fault of my parents. I had difficulties in relationships because my parents did not model the proper thing for me. My mother made bad decisions and denied them to me. My nervous system was set up from the time I was in my mother's stomach to be stressed and to be avoidant of people and to be depressed and to be self-hating. And before I could even speak, this was developing in my nervous system. When I first started speaking out about the abuse and neglect I suffered as a child, I would have people who knew my mother coming to me and saying, oh, well, you turned out so wonderfully. Uh, your mother must have done something right. And of course, this made me furious because I was like, no, it, uh, the way I turned out is because of the work that I did so I wouldn't end up like her. But what I was saying was all the good things in my life are because of what I did and all the bad things are because I had a bad childhood. And that didn't really feel very empowering to me, to be honest, but based on the knowledge I had at the time, it felt like the thing that made the most sense. So I began to realize that this blaming all the negative things on my parents and claiming all the positive things were my work alone, that was starting, there was something that felt really ingenuine about that and I started just putting it out there that I was looking for an answer to what I was experiencing and an alternative to that kind of thinking. I came across a great idea through one of my greatest teachers, a man named Eben Pagan, and in one of his programs, he talks about what if you looked at everything in your life and said, I am responsible, everything. That was a radical idea to me, and I'm always really excited to try new ideas or ways of thinking just to see how they feel and if they connect with me or not. I would think back to certain things. From my childhood, for example, I had a lot of really dysfunctional friends when I was a kid. They would treat me horribly. And looking back at that, I would think, well, that wasn't my fault. I was trying to be friends with them. You know, these were the kids I went to school with. How is that my responsibility? They would treat me that way because I would put myself in that situation. I didn't have to be friends with those people. I felt a compulsion to feel friends, to be friends with them because I grew up around trauma and dysfunction and I was attracted to it for a great deal of my life. I had this compulsion to seek out people who have problems and try to solve them. I'm sure you can guess how that has worked out for me. But I continued that behavior even later on in my adult life. You know, I'd go on a trip with people who would be miserable and grouchy and, and then I'd get mad, you know, and I would say, how am I responsible for them behaving that way and ruining the trip? And then I would just say, no, I knew they were like that before I went on the trip and I still went. I was in that situation. I am responsible. And after that, I began to see so many different areas of my life for which I was responsible. And when you take responsibility for something, that means that you can change it. You can affect change. If you're just this agent in the world that gets acted upon by everybody, if you have no sense of mastery or responsibility for your life, 
But once you realize that you are responsible for everything, then you can create what it is that you actually want. Now, one thing I would avoid when you know looking at this type of mindset is avoid the idea of blame. Don't be thinking, oh, that was my fault. I'm to blame. It's not helpful to ever think negative or self-punishing thoughts about yourself. But when you think, I am responsible, all that means is, okay, I dropped the ball here. How can I pick it back up? So if I go into a job that I hate every day and my boss treats me horribly, and I go home like, well, how is that my responsibility? You don't have to go to work. You don't have to go to a job you hate. Not in this day and age. Not with the internet. I also learned that some of the things that would be perceived as negative that happened to me during childhood have greatly benefited me. One example is, you know, I was left alone a lot as a child. So I was often really lonely and, you know, stuck in daycares and that had a negative effect on me, yes. However, it also taught me to be very self-starting. I also became very imaginative and creative and now I don't wait around for someone to come help me because as a child, sadly, I learned that no one's coming. So I learned to pick myself up and do the things that I want to do and get it done. That has benefited me greatly as an entrepreneur. Another thing that was negative about my childhood that helps me to this day is I was raised by, like I told you before, a single mother who denied all of responsibility for her life. Um, she did a lot of things that I could tell as a child went against my morals and my values, yet she claimed to have authority over me, told me I should respect her and listen and obey her. This taught me very early on as a child that people who claim to have authority and who want you to listen and obey them are not always the best people. They don't always have your best interest at heart. They sometimes don't know what they're talking about, even if they seem like they do. This has benefited me greatly in life, has allowed me to think outside the box. I don't have a fear of talking to any type of person in an authority figure. Because of this, I regularly converse with board members. I have dinner with CEOs. I have clients who are multimillionaires and they don't intimidate me. It's important to realize that as a creator of your experience on the earth dimension. It starts from your inception here on earth. That's when your creative ability and your responsibility for your life begins. A lot of therapists looked at me and the life that I have and how great I have done for myself despite everything and they say, Adele, how come you're not a single mom with 12 children? How come you're not on welfare? How come you never abuse drugs or alcohol in your life? And I don't judge people who have done that. Anyone can change, and everyone has different ways of coping. But it's important to recognize that even as children, even as babies and infants, that we make choices about how we deal with trauma that affect us later on in life. So while there are some people that would have been neglected as a child, later on in life, they might have no will, no motivation. And that's how their nervous system coped and dealt with that trauma. The way I chose to deal with that trauma as a child was to push through. Now being someone who's overly headstrong has its issues as well, but you can see how the decisions affect a person's life in so many different ways. So try this for a little while and see how it affects your life. Look at everything and just say to yourself, I am responsible. Get a sense of empowerment from that and see how you can use that to create the experience that you desire here on Earth. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again soon.